So wanting things is not a sin. Nicer car, you want a house, you want to get married, you want to have kids, you want to get a degree. I would like an entire new closet. This is my closet right here, full of a new wardrobe. That'd be great. It's not wrong to want those things. The issue is whenever wanting them becomes an obsessive, envious, sinful mess. What is it? Think about it for yourself. What is the thing that you want? And maybe it started off as a good want, a godly desiring want. If I had a bigger house, Lord, I would be able to have more people over and I'd be able to serve ministries and serve people and serve you well. Okay, that's great. But then all of a sudden, every time you walk into a friend's home, all you're doing is looking and envying what they have. If I only had this, why did they deserve this? They don't want to do ministry like I want to do ministry. Or I don't know, fill in the blank with whatever your vice is. Or whatever the thing is that makes you envious. And it's funny because people don't talk about envy a lot. Look at the next ad you see on Instagram and see that they actually use your fears and your hopes and your dreams to exploit you. The enemy does the same thing. Envy works just like that fear mongering ad campaign. Envy makes us feel like we won't be full or happy until we get that product, that service, that person, that house, that marriage, that child, that new wardrobe. We won't be complete without it. And then after a while, that thing becomes an idol. So actually being aware of what you're envious about is so key to cutting down sin before it creates idols in your life before every day it's what you wake up and think about before every night it's what you cry about before you go to sleep before your every prayer becomes about that one thing that is now your idol because it started as a good thing turned into envy and here we are the scripture actually tells us that we should fear something but it's the fear of the Lord that kills envy. Whenever we fear the Lord and he is our ultimate treasure and he is our ultimate hope, we live in such a way that says, you know what, I want this thing, but if I never get it, God, you're still good. You're still sovereign. You have a good plan. I can still serve you. I can still love you. You're my ultimate treasure. You're my ultimate goal. And I don't need this thing in order to be with you. So let me ask you, is your ultimate goal in life to have a perfect, harmonious, comfortable, happy life that serves you, you, you? Or is your ultimate goal in life, because of your fear of God, to serve the Lord, to love people, to live not for self, but to build the kingdom of God? And if that becomes your answer, watch how quickly the things that you envy just disappear because they're not necessary in order to live that life for God, not for self. All right, so act. One of the ways that you can actually combat being envious is to pray for the person that has the things you want. Maybe you're becoming envious of someone because they have the physical things that you want. Um, pray for them, bless them with your mouth. Thank the Lord for them. Pray that they use those things to serve God and watch your heart melt away discontentment frustration, jealousy, and envy, and just be filled with like a love for this brother or sister in Christ. So a big way to combat being envious, I've probably said that word a thousand times in this video, is to be grateful. Still make a list of awesome things that God has done for you and say, Lord, help me to be grateful for these things. I think a lot of times we don't realize that we can be honest with God and we can say, hey God, 99% of my heart isn't grateful right now, but I'm gonna use the 1% that trusts you can change my heart and I'm gonna pray that you do it. Even while I'm not gra grateful, God help make me grateful. He loves those prayers. Those are prayers that show you trust him as the creator of your heart and the molder of your heart, the sanctifier of your life. So sit down and literally ask the Holy Spirit to help you not to be envious, to replace your desire for the things of this world with the fear of the Lord. 